Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be answering your questions whilst getting ready. A few hours ago on my Instagram story, I asked you guys to ask me questions I probably hadn't answered before. So I'm going to be going through them and answering them because I feel like I haven't done a Q&A in a while and I just wanted to update you guys and give you a little Q&A. The lighting is actually really good right now. So that's why I decided to do this video. And also I find it pretty boring if I'm just doing a Q&A. So I thought I would spice it up a bit and do my makeup whilst doing this. Also, I just want to say that my earrings are from this small business on Depop. I opened their package that they sent me earlier. So here are some of the pieces that I unboxed. Thank you so much Diana for sending me those pieces. Go and check her out on Depop. Her pieces are so cute and super affordable so I would definitely recommend. And Now I'm going to get on to my makeup. The first question that I got was who is my favorite YouTuber? Honestly, I don't have a complete favorite. I kind of switch between YouTubers all the time and who I watch, but my favorite family channel is probably Daddy Girls. I don't really watch many family channels, but that's the one family channel that I love. So yeah, probably them at the moment. Can you give an OOTD and where do you shop? So my top and jumper are both from Brandy Melville and my leggings are from Lululemon. Yeah, I love Brandy Melville. A lot of the pieces that I have are from there. I also love Princess Polly but I don't really have many pieces from them because I live in the UK so they don't ship here or they do ship here but it just costs a lot to ship so yeah it's kind of harder to get their pieces. How tall are you? So I think I'm around 5'6 or 5'7 somewhere around that. I don't know if that's tall to you guys but a lot of people are saying you're tall or you're short and stuff but yeah I would say I'm pretty tall. When are you posting on your vlog channel? So I do have a vlog channel if you guys didn't know and it's just called Mia Stevens Vlogs and yeah I have a few uploads on there. I haven't really been uploading on my vlog channel recently just because I haven't really had any ideas for it but I'm definitely going to try and post more on it on the summer but right now I'm mainly just focusing on this channel and also I do edit for two other YouTubers Bailey and Annie I love them so much but yeah it just kind of gets quite busy and I definitely will get into my vlog channel but at the moment I'm just way too busy to do it so I kind of took a little break from it but definitely as soon as I have some more free time then I will why did I want to start a YouTube channel honestly I don't have a completely clear answer to this question. I kind of just saw other people doing YouTube and I was like, this seems super fun, so let's try out YouTube. So my channel at the start was actually a song channel, like a music channel, and I would literally just post covers of songs, my original songs, and I still do post covers and original songs, but now my content is more lifestyle, I guess. But yeah, that's kind of how it started off, and I just wanted to edit and learn how to film and just get better at that. Okay, I think I'm gonna move because it's kind of uncomfortable where I'm sitting right now. I just don't know where to go because otherwise it's just gonna make the lighting bad. The next question is my biggest lesson that I learned last year. I just think it's to take your time and give yourself a break when you need it and not to work yourself too hard. And a really good quote that I literally love is focus on the step in front of you, not the whole staircase. And honestly, I just love that quote to just think about the little goals instead of one big achievement, which make things harder for yourself. Would you consider YouTube a hobby, job, or both? This is a really good question. I think it's kind of both but it's just wherever you want to take it. It could be a hobby that you just enjoy doing and even if it's your job you can obviously still enjoy doing it. Honestly I feel like YouTube is a big job though. For me I wouldn't say that my job is YouTube though because I just wouldn't say I had a job. So I guess YouTube's a job but I also love doing YouTube so even if it wasn't a job then I would still do YouTube. How old are you? I get this question quite a lot and people are like oh my gosh there's no way you're 13. You look so much older than 13 and things like that. But I'm 13. 2007 baby. How do you do deal with hate if you have any? Again, this is a really good question. I literally get no hate, which I'm so grateful for. I'll get the odd comments sometimes, but honestly, they really don't bother me because I don't really get much hate. But I think if I did get a lot of hate, it would get to me. And I think the biggest thing to think of is that we're all human beings. Like, don't hate if you're thinking of hating on someone. Just don't do it. When did you start YouTube? So I think my first video was posted around two years ago, somewhere around that, or maybe a year and a bit ago. I don't really know. But I didn't post consistently when I posted my first video. Please do not go and watch my old videos. I don't want to delete them because it shows like my progress I guess but I still find them so cringy like I don't know why I posted them at the time but I mean you've all got to start somewhere. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink like a baby pink I would say. Someone said do you ever reply to your DMs? So I have so many DMs and I try to respond to them all but it's so difficult just because I don't respond to your DM or a comment 
comment doesn't mean that I don't appreciate you. I still appreciate every single one of my subscribers and supporters. It means literally the world to me, but I'm very busy, so it is so hard for me to respond to every single comment, DM, everything like that. But I do try my best. Pet peeves. Oh, one thing that really just irritates me so much is shoes like rub on the ground and it makes that super loud squeaky sound. Or like when balloons and you like scrape them, even just thinking about it, it's just so annoying. And I hate the sound, like I literally cannot listen to it. Do you think he will continue YouTube as a career? In the future, I definitely want to continue YouTube because I love doing YouTube, so that would literally be a dream. But I can't see into the future. I would love to, but I just don't know how that will work out. But I definitely want to keep going. Your favorite fitness YouTuber? I love Chloe Ting. She is literally my favorite and has been my favorite for ages. Goals by the end of 2021. So you can check out my New Year's resolution video if you want to see all my goals. But I think my biggest one is hitting 100,000 subscribers, which is crazy. That would literally be a dream come true. Again, it is a pretty big goal, but we're already at 30,000, which is so crazy to me. So yeah, thank you for all the love and support recently. It means the world to me. This is more of an assumption, but you're productive all the time. This is 100% false. I try and be as real with you guys as I can be, but I also do show you guys the productive side of my life because honestly, I think it's more interesting. And I also love watching people be productive, but I also love watching people chilling out and literally doing nothing. I don't know how people make that so entertaining. How long does it take to edit one YouTube video? I don't time me editing, but I know it takes a long time. I think every video is a bit different. I feel like 10 hours is a good amount of time to say, but I honestly think it's more than that. I don't really know though. I will definitely time myself one time and let you guys know. Are you homeschooled? No, I go to in-person school. I did online school because of COVID, but I don't actually do like homeschool online school. I go to an in-person school. How is your skin so glowing and clear? Can you give me some tips, please? That is so sweet of you. My skin is not always the best, but I guess it's pretty clear for the most part. My biggest tip is just have a super simple skincare routine. You can check out my skincare routine videos and my night routines or my morning routines because I usually show my skincare routine in them. But yeah, Sarah V has been my favorite skincare brand for a while, so I would definitely recommend that. How does it feel to be Annie's editor? Is it stressful? So I also edit for Bailey Diedrich and Annie Long now. I haven't really mentioned that, but I think it is a little bit stressful. The thing is, I'm friends with both of them, so it makes it more enjoyable to edit. And honestly, I love doing it, so for the most part, it's not very stressful. And a lot of the questions were like, how do you manage your time? Honestly, I don't. I'm getting better at managing my time, but it is still so hard because I feel like I always have things to do and things on my to-do list. But I think just balancing them and running a schedule for your day and having a good routine is super helpful. When will you do a video with your beanbag? It has not arrived yet. And I did a TikTok about my beanbag and like telling you guys about it, but it hasn't arrived. I don't think it's coming. I think I ordered it off of like a website that wasn't actually a website or it was a website. It was just like fake, but I will definitely get the proper beanbag hopefully soon. How was it at school when you first started your YouTube channel? How do people react? This is also a good question. People would always joke about it and they still kind of do. So yeah, it doesn't really bother me. But yeah, pretty much everyone was super supportive. So yeah, it was all good. Describe you in one word. I don't know, this is really hard. I would say I'm hardworking. That sounds really cliche, but I do try my best in everything that I do. So yeah, I would say that I'm hardworking. Have you ever dyed your hair? I've never dyed my hair. I don't plan to. Yeah, I'm probably not even allowed to dye my hair, but I don't really want to dye my hair. Also, I haven't been telling you guys what I've been doing with my makeup. I've just kind of been doing it. So yeah, I'm sorry about that, but you can check out my makeup routine video as well if you want to see my makeup routine. Are you ever going to have your own match? That would literally be a dream. I would love to have my own match. Maybe in the future, but definitely not right now. At the moment, I'm just focusing on my content, but I would love to in the future. I feel like my makeup just looks so strange today. You know those days when you do your makeup and then it just looks different to normal? I don't even really do makeup. That's probably why. But yeah, it's fine. I'm not going anywhere. That is the end of this Q&A whilst I do my makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, this is what the finished makeup look looks like. Also, thank you if you submitted a question. Hopefully, I answered most of your questions. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.